Hi, and thanks for joining me. I'm Alan from my narrowboat venture, and a big welcome to you all, especially new subscribers. Before I talk about today's vlog, I want to say something about <laughs> Tuesday's forego narrowboating live stream, <laughs> which didn't altogether work out for me. For those of you that watched it, I think it was a great hoot for many. It was very entertaining. We had Sean and Colin from Foxes Afloat on, and it was a good evening. I had problems though, my Wi-Fi kept dipping in and out. The quality that I was watching was very poor. When we have the live stream, we're all sort of sat in little boxes, and my box wasn't very clear at all, and I couldn't see what others were seeing. And certainly in the latter half of that, things went very wrong for me. <laughs> you see me sort of sat there not saying anything. And the reason for that was that I couldn't actually hear what others were saying. The pictures were fuzzy, they were hanging up, and it was difficult for me to take part. And I just wanted to explain that. I did watch the recording the last half hour or so. <laughs> And um, parts of it were quite funny, I think, at my expense. So um, those of you that did see it, I hope you enjoyed it. And the reason I was quiet through much of it, or through the latter half of it, was simply because I could not hear or see properly what was actually happening. <laughs> Anyway, on to today's video, or vlog, <laughs> call it what you will. <laughs> I think many of you know that I recently visited my father in North Norfolk. What you're about to see is a little bit of a record of that trip, but before we get on to that, I should mention that uh, about three weeks ago, the Crick Music and Scarecrow Festival was held. I think I've got that the wrong way around actually. I think it's the Crick Scarecrow and Music Festival <laughs> was held in Crick. <laughs> Where as many of you know the boat show is held annually. I did film that three years ago and it was rather interesting, entertaining. The villagers go to a lot of trouble to dress up the village with scarecrows and other models of things and I thought that'd be good. It'd be nice to show you something different. So another boater and myself walked down to Crick from Yelvertoft where I'm moored to see what was going on and unfortunately the villagers hadn't partaken in quite the same way as they had three years ago. There wasn't so much to see. It was still a good event but I didn't take much film. But having taken the film, I thought, well, I should show it to you at least. <laughs> so you're going to see some of that. It's only a couple of minutes right at the start of the film. The rest of the film is taken up with my trip to um, North Norfolk to see my dad. You don't see my dad in the film or anything like that, but um, <laughs> you do see some of the uh, things that I was up to. I decided that I would visit the Wells and Walsingham Light Railway, which is a miniature gauge railway. I went on the Saturday. I arrived in time to see the train return from its first trip of the day. I allowed about 10 minutes. And when I got to the station, there were no staff around, no platform staff or railway staff. There were people queuing for the next train and I went on to the platform or just beyond the platform actually and I waited for the train to come back and it didn't come and it was some while before I did speak to uh, a member of staff and they said the train got off half an hour late and the whole thing was delayed by the time it returned it was running about an hour late now I had visited there with the intention of travelling but having stood around for over an hour and having other things to do, I gave it a miss. 
but I was able to film the train coming in and going out and I thought you might like to see that. I then left the railway and I went down to the quayside in Wells next to the sea and I did some filming from the van and I also took a walk through the town and made some purchases, things that I was looking out for. So you're going to see some of that as well. There are also shots of me driving through the village of Little Walsingham. I know in particular overseas viewers like to see street scenes, village scenes, that sort of thing. I hadn't intended to actually do any sort of filming from the uh, van, camper van. But as the dash cam is always running, I decided that I would use some of it. I hadn't even washed down the windscreen as I normally do, or when I think of it. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for any smudges that are on the windscreen. But I hope you enjoy watching that. On another day, I drove into Holt, which is a small town with a lovely town centre. I drove through there. I was actually trying to locate some fuel for the camper you may be aware that we had some troubles in this country with delivery drivers and panic buying and unfortunately that panic buying had left to many garages being completely empty of fuel so everyone is searching around to try and get fuel and then right at the end I'm driving down a very narrow country lane one of those that time has forgotten Anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick look. It's all filmed very much on the hoof. Nothing is planned particularly or set up for filming. I hope you enjoy.
I'm at the Wells and Walsingham Light Railway in North Norfolk. It's classified as a miniature gauge. It's ten and a quarter inches, which I believe is 260 millimetres. I'm just being directed to where I need to park 
which is amongst the other motorhomes. I hadn't actually realised there was another railway in Wells next to the sea, but here it is. <laughs> Not running today, unfortunately, so I can't show you anything. I'm looking along Wells West Bank. And now I'm looking towards Wells East Bank. Crabbing is very popular along here and in fact in many coastal positions where there is a quayside. It attracts a lot of interest but my children were never particularly keen on doing it. Holt is a market town about 20 miles north of Norwich and 10 miles to the west of Cromer. The nearest mainline railway station is at Sheringham a few miles away but Holt does have its own station which forms part of the preserved North Norfolk Railway. There has been a petrol shortage nationally due to a lack of delivery drivers 
and I popped into Holt to see if I could buy some diesel for my camper van. But unfortunately, as you can see, this garage was closed. <laughs> I then turned round and headed back to give you a different perspective of driving through Holt. Having been told the day before that this garage was expecting a delivery of diesel today, I called in, but was to be disappointed yet again. Whether the delivery had been made and they had sold out, or whether it hadn't been made, I didn't know and I didn't ask. I then returned back to where I am staying down one of the narrowest roads that I'd found, a sort of road that time had forgotten. I hope you enjoyed watching some of what I was up to whilst I was away visiting my dad. If you haven't yet done so, please do think about subscribing and click the little bell to receive notifications of future videos. Meanwhile, take the utmost care Look after yourselves, your friends and families. Until next time, bye for now.